Welcome back to the final video regarding the operation of this application. Today we will implement editing and removing the items from the plans list. So for example, I can choose this one and give it a new name like Microsoft ASP.NET Core. Click Submit. As you can see, we have updated this item and we can implement remove as well like click remove on learn machine learning okay that's it so let's move to visual studio so to, to start the first process i'm going to do is to implement the selection function so the user can select the plan and uh, to be able to edit it so i will create the select function call it select item sorry not plan and takes a to do item item great now the process of selection is basically set the field selected item equals to that item and also the to do item request this model that had the description id and plan id we use the same for insert and update the only difference is that in update it takes uh, the id property of this item is filled with the selected item id so I'm going also to set uh, item model dot id is equals to item dot id select item uh, just okay now the second step we can so now this is the, the row when the user clicks on it is able to select an item so select item and add that item for it okay great now what i want to do also is to change the style of this row when the user is like hover over it and when the this item is selected so i will follow the same approach approach we have done if item yes item or selected item equals equals to that item then the style is going to be cursor to pointer and background is going to be light blue or also the cursor going to be pointer background but going to be white and here set the style for the row is the row style this way okay that's great actually i don't recommend to follow this way too much especially when it comes to complicated go and create the css classes and deal with it this is much way better than that but for this scenario and it's pretty simple i have followed that way okay now let's run and see the result <coughs> Okay, now let's select this item. Great. Yeah, we need to do something also when uh, we click when we choose this item, we have to put the description here and set the description property for the item model to the description of the selected item. Okay, item model dot description equals to item dot description so in this way uh, the text box value will be the description of the selected item great now let's uh, create the update function I'm going to copy the insert because somehow it's the same and change this one to edit edit item async call this one edit okay Actually, when the process succeeded, we don't have to add this, that item. Instead, we have to bring the updated item from the list and change the description to the new one, okay? So to get the item, do it this way. Sorry, not plan item. Items dot single or default dot 
id equals to the result dot record dot id and edited item dot description is equals to result dot record dot description okay that's great we need also just to show that error message here now when the user clicks the submit button of this form it detects if there is a selected item so in that way it's going to call the edit function otherwise it's going to call the add new so we have to do it but before let's also define click function for this button which actually just called clear selection now clear the selected item void clear selection selected item is going to be null and item model dot id equals to null as well item model description is going to be null also now in the submit form async we check here as you can see selected item is null then call insert otherwise call update so await update or edit edit item async yeah also there is a logic in the api that the item to be edited it should be uh, marked as undone clear clear selection is there any problem here with the name i'm oh, sorry i call it yeah this way okay great so the item to be edited the item should be unchecked so we will add a little logic here where the okay the selected item we have show a message that show alert that the item cannot be edited if it is undone or unchecked if it is checked or undone sorry okay now let's add that okay let's go to plans edit so i'm going to select this one edited item click submit great but if i try to edit this one as you can see we cannot because it is marked as unchecked now if i try to change it okay it's done Let's click this button. We have cleared the selection. Everything's perfect. Now, we can move to the last part, which is remove. It's very, very easy. Now, to create the remove function, directly remove item from the list. From the list. Async task remove item bring the id of the item and call is busy equals true busy equals false also here <clears throat> or if we pass the whole item is going to be better so we don't retrieve it again from the plans uh, from the items list to remove it we can directly remove this item and var result equals await item service dot delete item async the id is item dot id now if result is success 
show alert here if it's success then just items dot remove that item and we are done it's pretty simple now let's call this function in the remove button yeah here click I think await remove item and we put the item for it this way okay that's great now we can test this as well Okay, I'll try to remove this one. Great. Okay. New item. I want to learn events. Okay. I have a new set of items. Everything's perfect. Everything's cool. And this way we can say like we are done we have just very small final touches like showing an alert and implementary direction from the plans page to the edit or the plans detail component while the user will click the card not only the edit button so we will implement all that changes in the next video before deploying to the application to the server again Thank you so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to support us by like, share, and subscribe. Thank you again and see you in the next video.